Hello, this is Tate with Black Rod Doors, blackroddoors.net, and today we're going to be talking about knots. Um, we're going to do some real basic ones real quick. Uh, first, we always start out with our fast pack. This is 20 feet of rope that allows you to be able to pull and just pull it all the way through, just all the way through without having any knots or anything in the rope. We get all the way to the very end and we didn't have one tangled bird's nest. So we pull all the way to the end. It's called a trucker's hitch. Now a trucker's hitch starts with a slippery hitch, which is a loop, with a loop through the inside. And when we pull it tight, it makes a loop. Now why we call it slippery hitch is if you pull on it, it disappears, which makes it really easy to pull out. And this is a trucker's knot. You use this for tying down loads, things like that. So once we have that loop, now we can take our rope, we can wrap it around our hook, we can tie this off with maybe a clove hitch on another hook, and we're tying down a load maybe in the center. I'm going to take our loop, we'll pull it through our loop, and as we pull, it doubles the amount of pulling effort. <clears throat> so we're able to go half and half again. So technically we're pulling about a third to a quarter of the weight once we're doing that. Real simple knot, real easy, and like I said, once we're all done, once we pull the load all loose, we pull and the knot disappears. The next one is called a clove hitch. We're going to show you two ways to tie that guy. I'm going to grab a little smaller piece of, of line here. The clove hitch, you make a cross, make another cross, so it makes a cross, you're just going to loop it over, and then you're going to take your your rope, feed it through, and make another cross. Now this works really good on rope, you know, you're tying off a rope or something, you can slip it through a carabiner. That's what we use it here for in the store. It's just that carabiner style loop like that. And what it ends up is that your loop is over top of your two ends. That's what you want to see. So something real simple. Now the second way we tie this which does just as fast, and we use this a lot in climbing and a lot here in the store, is our double loop clove hitch, which we make a loop, we make another loop, same exact way, and we make sure that the loops cross over top of each other. So it's a little hard to see, but we're going to cross over top. So when we slide it over the top, we end up with those two loops with the two ropes coming out of the center. So it crosses over the top of our two loops. I'm going to do that one more time because that one's kind of a hard one to, to catch on. It's a loop. So it's flat and another loop that we loop over the top. And then we just loop it around and slide on. And this is great for pipe and things like that which are kind of hard to hold knots to. Something really neat to have. Our next knot is called a taut line hitch. And a taut line hitch is great in a couple different ways. You're able to, let's say we're going to use our, we're going to tie off here and we've got a tent stake in the ground. So we've got a tent stake here and that tent stake we're going to go ahead and set in the ground. But we want to make it a, a knot that would adjust so maybe the, it didn't, we didn't get it exactly tight right off the bat. We knew we taught line hitch, which was we make a loop. So we end up with a loop. We're going to go around the inside of the loop. So around the inside of the loop once. Around the inside of the loop twice. So it ends up with two loops on the inside. And then an outside loop. The outside loop goes around the outside of the loop and then pulls back through. And that gives us is a knot that is adjustable. We pull that tight, and we're going to dress the knot, we call it, which is cleaning up the knot. Now we take our tent stake, and we can just, as we slide it, it stays. As we slide it back, it stays right in the spot where we want to say it, even though we've got weight on it. Okay? Our next knot is another really, really simple knot. Really probably the easiest knot of all the knots that that we that anybody's learned and it's usually your first knot you learn. You take your two ends of your rope, it's called a square knot. You're gonna go right over left and left over right. 
okay? Which makes, if, if you see the two loops, they should pull out on both sides of the loop. So this, both ropes should be coming out of this loop, both ropes should come in, be coming out of the same side, so if you push them together, it kind of gives you that, that looping mechanism there. And again, once you pull it tight, it won't get, it will just keep getting tighter. So we want to go right over left, left over right, and then just pull. We always know it works because it's the two loops together. Alright, and that one's great for all kinds of stuff, joining two ropes together. Our last one is what we call the Prussix knot. And this is a real neat knot we use for loads and using on, you know, um, pulling people out of ditches, all kinds of things, because this allows us to climb ropes and everything. All you need is a bigger rope than what you're trying. You want a smaller rope than what you're trying to climb. We're going to take the, make a loop. We're going to pass the ends of the rope through the loop. We're going to go over, pass the ends of the rope through the loop again, and pass them through one more time. I like to do three loops. Sometimes two is enough, but I really like three. It seems to hold a lot better. Sometimes when it's really not important, people do two. I always like three. Now what I like about this is it's kind of like the top line hitch and the fact that it's an adjustable type knot. Now what it is is if I grab it from the bottom and I push, it slides up or down just fine. As soon as I grab with the rope, it cinches down and locks onto the rope. Now we use this in our ratcheting system to hold up our boats so we can actually slide it down, let a little bit more rope out, and as soon as we weight the rope so you know, we can actually do it that way. Use this in climbing a lot to actually climb up ropes. We use this in boating if we're going to do a pulley type system to pull boats off the, you know, wrapped boat. This is another knot you'll use in that. But a really a great all-around knot that everybody should know because it allows you, you can actually use two of these and just climb right up a rope. Well, this is Tate with Black Rod Doors, blackroaddoors.net. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at um, Black Rod Doors. Have a great day.